Before checking the fishermen hookups, the group all agreed that the target that Mike and Warren had last dived deserved a second look. Even though there was only a small mound protruding above the surrounding seabed, it was giving off a huge magnetic signature. Perhaps that simple pile was the obscure grave of Bonhomme Richard. There's a pretty good current running. Yeah, I'm hoping that it's just dying off. Now we're gonna have a heck of a deco. Groceries and fuel weren't the only thing that we had picked up on our trip to shore. I managed to locate a handheld underwater metal detector. Once on the bottom, I began to sweep over the sandy seabed. If there were cannons or anchors or any kind of iron from Bonham Richard buried there in the sand, the detector would give out an audio squeal into the earpiece that had been stuffed inside the hood of my dry suit. And sure enough, the detector did find some metal. It was a stainless steel ring that we immediately recognized as what Warren and I would call a DX ring. A metal gasket ring that's used in the flanging together of high pressure pipeline. Having worked for many years as professional divers in the Canadian offshore oil and gas industry, we not only recognized the DX ring, but many other pieces of discarded metal that are typical of underwater gas well drilling sites. I knew that the North Sea was full of natural gas wellheads and connecting pipeline. I knew too that generally this area didn't contain gas wells. But it's quite possible that it could contain some abandoned exploratory wells. Where natural gas wells are drilled and then later abandoned, the metal structure, the part we call the wellhead, that sticks above the seabed must by law be cut off and removed, meaning that when it's all over, there's little evidence that the wellhead ever existed. But the huge amount of metal pipe casing that gets drilled deep into the Earth's rock has to be left behind. That would explain why we got this large magnetic reading for this site. But yet there was no three-dimensional structure visible above the seabed. In my mind, we had solved the mystery. This site that Ralph had pointed out had a big magnetic hit, but no structure wasn't the buried remains of Bonham Richard's cannon, but quite possibly the abandoned remains of an exploratory gas well. We were all reminded that right from the very beginning, Clive had said there was no way that this was a shipwreck site. So I guess at the end of the day, Clive gets to say, I told you so.